Hello everyone and welcome to Chris and Uncensored Japan. Nani mo kakorenai no imi desu. Today I have a special guest for the first time on this channel. Her name is Risa Makino from Kobe and she is a member of Premier Ballet Studio. Today she is going to talk about the world of ballet, dancing and various other things connected to this special world. So, for now, I'm going to hand it over to Risa. Hi Risa, thanks for joining us. Hi Chris, it's great to be here. Uh, first, why did you decide to do ballet? Uh, it's a long story. So. At first, I was two and a half years old. My mother decided to uh, practice the rhythmic, rhythmic class for me. And then, but I was really, really disliked it, and then I wanted to quit it. So I chose the ballet instead of rhythmic. Okay, I see. So, when did you start your training? Was it a, was it when you were about two years old? After you decided to start ballet, when exactly did you begin? Uh, actually, I was two and a half years old. I started classic ballet, but originally. Ballet school is from a three, but I went to the school every day, so my teacher was gave up, and then I can't enter the school two and a half years old. Oh, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> was it a big class when you first started? No, actually, big class. Just a small local ballet studio. So main studio is Osaka. It's very far. Welcome back, everyone. So, Risa. Do you have any favorite ballet choreography? My most favorite one is Coppelia. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. um, so, Risa, how many hours do you train a week for ballet? A week? Uh, each lesson has uh, 1 hour and 30 minutes. And then after lesson, I practice by myself, maybe 1 hour, so total 2 hours and 30 minutes per day. So if I can go to the school, it's four times a week, so maybe eight hours or nine hours, I think. Wow, that's a lot of time and effort. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, what are the main differences between Western and Japanese ballet? Oh, it's a really difficult question. So, but Japan, uh, uh, sorry, uh, ballet is basically for foreigners because they have a natural turnout uh, from the bone. Mm -hmm. So, but for Japanese people, it's really difficult to turn out. So, before we running the skill, we have to do running how to turn out. And then we get the uh, turn out the skill. So firstly, we running to classic ballet skill. So 
but um, educational system is so different. So ballet is sure. just a hobby. So uh, there is few ballet school with uh, educational. So they they will go to the school mainly and then after school they sure. go to the uh, kind of sub, sub school to practice the ballet but for western courses <laughs> at first uh, mm -hmm. they have a examination they check the health check turn out or bone is okay or muscle so everything passed and they have a gift of talent that people choose it and then they can finally take a very educational so it's kind of a selection process based mm -hmm. on this turnout as you said yes I mean, so ballet is, uh, for Japanese people, we can do the ballet, everybody, if we want. But for Western or like uh, Russia is selected person is can get a real educational. So other people is just a hobby. At first, it's mm. just a decide. Mm. I see. Welcome back. Uh, so, Lisa, what has been the most rewarding thing about ballet for you? Award thing? Ah, rewarding thing. What's been the most rewarding thing? The the best thing that you've gotten from ballet? Mm. So now is ballet a part of my life. So it's a difficult to say one word, but there is a ballet. So I can cheer up my job, I think. <laughs> so doing ballet helps you in your daily life and when you're at work? Yes, it's very necessary for me. That's a very good mm -hmm. thing. So in that case, what has been the most challenging thing about doing ballet? Challenging, <laughs> but ballet is every day is a challenge. <laughs> sure. So, well, what for for example is if I join the competition, is I wanted to make a good result. Mm. Uh, make a good result against the last time so first step up so you want to improve on your last performance yes i think so good mm. 128番 maki no lisa flora no variation
thank you for your time today, Risa. It's been great speaking with you. Thank you so much, Chris. <laughs> thank you for watching, everyone. I've been speaking with Risa Makino of Premier Ballet Studio, who has given us some um, quite interesting insights into ballet world and what uh, happens in it. Um, it's been awesome having her on the show and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you around. Matane.